everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's Viper High Performance Video. You say, well, Tony, that sounds like a very interesting video. When you say high performance video, what's that mean? Well, we're actually gonna test out the speedometer today to see if it hits 200. We're gonna do that on one of these nice uh, residential roads here, probably in a school zone. We're probably gonna look for a school zone. We're gonna take up smoking at the same time and probably litter the carpet with empty liquor bottles. This is gonna be the best test drive ever. Anyway, on a more serious note, let's talk about rare, low mileage, collectability, and watching the price go up every year on these Vipers. And uh, your question will be, well, how tone could you possibly know that? And you're right, I cannot predict the future, but I have been watching the past, and that's the way it's headed. All right, so a lot of times people say, uh, that's a great looking car, and we already know a Viper's a great looking car, but I wanna point out a couple of things that perhaps add to why it's a great looking car. For instance, instead of having a painted silver wheel, this is a polished wheel, right, uh, that's clear coated with this giant red Brembo caliper hanging out inside. But the most important part about it is how many lug nuts are on this car? You know, like, what's a, what does that matter? Well, why does a truck have six lug nuts? Why does some heavy duty trucks have eight lug nuts? Because those are heavy duty parts. This is a heavy duty race car, right? Six bolt wheels on here, straight from the factory, heavy duty parts to start out with, all right? And then this great looking cutout here for the body. This lets the air in, out, and out, right? So you don't get all the turbulence that's underneath of there and they have covered headlights. There's a lot of detail put in here to get a 200 mile an hour car to stay on the ground. You could build a 200 mile an hour car, but if it's not stable, it's gonna be very, very difficult to drive. Lastly, since these are built by hand, they're built by Team Viper on an assembly line. These are hand painted cars. I want you to see the quality of paint, especially under here. So look at just not only the, the, the letters that are here, but let's also look at the ceiling and the lights inside here. So come on up, check this out. See how you can see everything in there. Careful, this doesn't suck you in too much. It's a lot of air coming in there. Got eight liters of, uh, eight plus liters. Nice, right? All right, so anyway, so you can see how all the letters are. That's the important part of getting a car when you buy video. Don't just take people's pictures. Pictures always make a car look good. You want the video, it shows the detail, it shows what, what quality you're getting, and that's why I wanted you to have that. All right, so one of my favorite tricks to do is if you have a Viper, let's say this becomes your car. It's in your garage, because you're probably not gonna leave it outside. This one wasn't outside. You can hopefully find a home for it inside. And what I like to do is I like to tell my friends when they come over, hey, go pop the hood on that thing. Wait till you see the engine, right? I'll be out in a minute. And so they'll be looking around. Most people, 99.99% .99 of the world have no idea how to open the hood of a Viper and will spend hours looking for it. I can just tell you real quick where it is, depending on the year of the Viper. It's actually an exterior uh, mount right here. And it's hidden right inside there. No one would ever think to look there because everyone's used to it underneath the dash. All right, before we get in there and before I let you see the money shot, let me just tell you. There is a lot of engine in here and it is beautiful. I wish there was some way to get a clear plastic hood on here like a Ferrari, like a glass piece, because check this out. They put a lot of time, attention to detail in here. Those big red valve covers, all aluminum motor, right? And a lot of V10, 505 horsepower. The crazy thing about this car is it doesn't need a lot of revs because of how many cubic inches it has. By 1800 RPMs, it's already making 300 horsepower, right? That's just slightly off of idle. That's why these are so fun. They lug along at any gear and get rolling. In here is nicely detailed. Maybe you want to go to a car show or something like that. All of this is nicely done. I don't know. I just think it's a, a nice piece. You can find oil coolers, big radiators. Like this is a serious high performance car, not just a cobbled together kit car. All right, so I wanted to spend a second back here for a couple reasons. One, because the styling is so great, right? I love the back end of a Viper. You have giant tires tucked in there. But most importantly, this is a functional part of the car. You have a diffuser here that's designed to let the air come in and push the rear end down. You have a spoiler that's molded into the car to push the rear end down. Why? Because cars that are, you know, that travel, uh, you know, depending on the year of the Viper, 175 miles an hour to over 200, right? Uh, there's air under the car and being in the high speeds, it makes it do this, right? You've seen NASCAR like that. Uh, here we're pushing the car down so it handles and responds properly. If the tires aren't contacting the pavement, that's not good. 
Here, they've worked all that in and they've designed it so it works out great. Secondly, all right, they've also given some function to the car. Inside here, right, this trunk, there's a cutout on both sides for a golf bag, right? You could take the, imagine going to golf with your clubs and everything like that in your Viper. That is a pretty cool ride to go do that. Lastly, okay, this is a convertible top, the top of it, all right? It's hard for a reason. One, because when it's down here, you don't get all the buffeting. Two, when it's in front and it's hooked in where it's supposed to be, right? Because it's such a high-speed car, all the air coming over the top of it keeps it nice and quiet. You don't get the flapping going on. There's a lot of great thoughts that are brought in here. And we're talking about roll bars already built in above the seats. All right, so you're walking up to your Viper, right? Your car that you love, you enjoy. You th say to yourself when you walk out in the garage, you know, here's a funny thing too. Like I love a car cover on a vehicle, but I don't leave the car cover on at home uh, because I like to walk out and see it. I know that makes me shallow and I apologize for that, but at least I'm being honest. All right, we're going this way here. We're gonna get inside because I'm talking way too much because this is where you're gonna hang out. And we're gonna talk about some things that you may or may not know about the Viper. So one of the things is when you're a tall person or you're a larger person, sometimes cars are not comfortable, especially small sports cars like this. And so in this case here, uh, most people don't know, but uh, the pedal assembly, the whole pedal assembly is on an uh, electric slide. And so it's got a switch right here and I'm able to move the pedals all the way back for people with longer legs. People with shorter legs would move it up a little bit and this way they wouldn't have to worry about uh, the steering wheel being too close. And then it also has nice features too, like uh, tilt wheel, full gauge setup, air conditioning, power windows, killer sound system, right? With a subwoofer here, it's an Alpine uh, setup here. 7,000 RPM TAC and it goes on and on. So this is suede and leather seating. You can, you can use this car. You know, this is a, this is, these cars uh, with some slight modifications can go over 200 miles an hour. 200 miles an hour, which is ridiculous. Stock, they're 180 plus mile an hour cars. That's a lot of miles per hour when you think about it and you wanna be comfortable while you're doing it. And this is such a great place to do it. All right, so we'll close up the video with a lot of great stats, especially of this car here. First off, the condition we looked at is pretty spectacular, all right? Secondly, we have an upgraded audio system. We have just over 10,000 miles, we'll say under 11,000 miles on the car, right? Driven less than 1,000 miles a year. I want you to think about that number. The average driver drives between 12 and 15,000 miles a year. This is less than 1,000 miles a year. One of the reasons why these become collector cars, right? Fresh set of Michelins all the way around the car. That's a compliment to the owner who owned this car. He loved this car. He bought the best tire he could get for this car. He didn't buy some cheap knockoffs. He loved this car. He traded in here and he decided to get himself something different. And that's what we do here. We recycle these cars all the time because people love cars. We love to get them back. They love to get new cars and it works out for everybody. Anyway, uh, lastly, we got six speeds, 505 horsepower, triple black, less than 400 of these built in this color combination and we are still at the wow factor off the charts all right anyway uh call us 301-816-1000 we'll tell you all about this amazing amazing viper all right and if you don't mind please uh click the like button down below and share this with your friends that helps us get the message out and if you uh don't mind subscribe to the channel every time we got new content coming out it'll notify you and lastly i think now we need to go for the test drive all right, well, thank you guys for letting me take your Viper for a test drive. I promise you I'm driving it nice and easy so you can see what it looks like. But if you want to buy a sports car, this is an amazing car. You want to buy a drag car, this is an amazing car. You want to buy a drive a car, you can drive to work every day, this is that car. These continue to surprise me every bit of time. They just make so much power and they're so simple to drive. Look at this, I'm just wheeling down the road enjoying the comfort of my leather seats, getting ready to put on some, uh, some tunes. I don't even know what kind of tunes to put on today. It's a beautiful day out. We got the top down. Anyway, thanks so much for going for a ride with me today, and I will see you on the next drive.